get Surriers. Yeah, absolutely. We've got Tim Ralphs here, fresh back from Coruscant. Yeah, we tried to keep him off the stream as much as possible. I know he's not a fan of the curse. Absolutely. And we got Christian Drama here. Uh, also tried to keep him off the stream as much as possible because he always ends up on it anyway. So we try to, like, save them as much as we could. So each of these players, mm -hmm. Tim and Christian, have flown each of their lists twice today. Yeah, and now what's the new change for the top eight cut? So the top eight cut is you can only fly each of your lists once in the cut. So top eight, top four, and the finals. So, so whoever wins this match can no longer fly this list in the next match. Right, and both of these guys have pulled out some crazy hard lists. Now I'm willing to bet that Tim is counter trying to counter pick Christian, knowing Christian is a propensity for swarm play, and that Christian loves to run these ridiculously amazing hur hurricane style lists. I feel like the, the list that Tim's pulled out seems almost anti-swarmy. Personally, I'm a huge fan of cluster missiles on Redline. Everybody keeps telling me proton, proton, proton. I'm like, no. no. She's got double mods. We're seeing a ton of three, four, five, six plus ship lists. Yeah. Clusters all the way when you're getting double mods so, on all your shots. And the clusters in the advanced proton torpedoes You're covering means, every range. Not only, yeah, exactly. You're covering every range. And so because she can barrel roll into a target lock, she can boost into a target lock. You can get that range one closing to actually pull them off. That's brilliant. I didn't even think about that. Right? So you can get boost can, and then action from the ability to get a target lock and you've got a range yeah. one fist pump. They range like two great cluster missiles they range one here's eat my five dice we've got three scimitars with barrage rockets on christian's list yeah uh two cutlass squadrons each with uh, trajectory simulator and bombs mm -hmm. one with seismics and one with protons and then both barrage rockets and then uh tim's flying vader red line and countdown so vader with just supernatural reflexes and fcs a really great light vader there 85 points It'll be certainly very interesting to see how they set up their rocks. Mm -hmm. So Christian uh, is first player. Uh, Tim has decided that. And it's very little bearing on the game. However, um, one of the things that Christian does with this list is that he will, off the hop, right at the beginning of the... Uh, right at the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. he will delete uh, the last rock placed by his opponent. If right. it is easy to do because he figures that's the one that that opponent really wanted to well use, they've or? they've put it down to block a lane yeah and it's just like this really brutal show that's of now my lane <laughs> i like it i understand that yeah oh so uh e is the top is telling us exactly what happens if you exo exhaust a damage deck you reshuffle the ones from a dead ship and discard the ones from abilities into a new damage deck great so it's awesome that we have to make a damage deck a great. new damage deck in order to i hope that happens at one point in, in nationals at some point uh i don't <laughs> I mean, technically, in 1.0, there was a discard pile of damaged cards, which was open information yeah. for anyone to look at. However, yeah. I don't think anybody ever actually did that. Um, so, you look like a nail. We have been to you uh, to your point. Interesting, we have been interesting, before. interesting. So, so I think if I'm a Christian, I think his approach to playing this list is you would normally think, oh my god, this is a death joust list, but it's like he doesn't need to play it that way. No. He can just fan everybody out and just Zamboni you into his net of death. That's exactly what's going to happen. So Christian's going to probably put his three little bombers together and then spread the, uh, the Cutlass squadron pilots out and we're going to see uh, a nice, big, you know... Well, you're calling it Zamboni. It's going to cover about. He's going to be able to cover about half the board. Yeah. With uh, with arcs. And yeah. we know where you can go, where you can't avoid being bombed or shot or something, unless he completely changes it on us and does everybody all in a swarm. So I mean, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, okay. <laughs> Producer Travis keeps taking my toys away so yes. that I can't make noise on stream. Yes. And I'm trying very hard to sit on my hands so you I don't play try. so I don't play desk piano because exactly. we've got enough background noise going on right here. So Well it's our Cantina band that we hired specifically for this event. Yeah, we've got uh jizz music going on downstairs. <laughs> I believe that is the technical term. Uh so here we've got Christian lining up on what I'm gonna assume is the trajectory simulator to blow seismic away charge right. one. Uh, to blow up that center rock. That and, makes sense. And really, I think it might even give him two choices if he's lined it up correctly. Right. So, uh, Which one he wants to blow up and which lane he wants to take through. Yeah. I can see what you're saying. And so uh, Christian and I are longtime Swarm players. Mm -hmm. We've been playing together for a long time. Mm -hmm. We play other board games together. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we share a love of TIE Fighters and yep. TIE Swarms. Yeah. Uh, and in 2.0, we've both abandoned the TIE Swarm. 
Well, yeah, and can you speak a little bit to that, why you don't think? Because, I mean, I feel like as an outsider looking in, the symmetry options that are available in there with so many named pilots and the Infernal Squadron together, that seems enticing. How come you're not running that stuff? There are three trajectory simulators on the board with proton bombs, and I think that that's exactly the That's reason. exactly why. That is keeping swarms at bay. Yeah. T-SIM itself is just unshielded ties just do not can, cannot afford to eat one proton bomb from I mean, the red I mean, I didn't get to... I, I, you can use Iden on a trajectory simulator proton bomb. Mm-hmm. You can save one tie from one crit. One tie from one crit. And the crits are so much worse. They are so bad in 2.0. They're so like, tough. Like, look, if you can... F- I was talking to uh, Philip, probably the, the best Polish uh, tie, swarm player, probably the best swarm player in Europe, mm-hmm. not going to lie. And he was telling me... He went 4-2 and two at Coruscant with tie swarm. Right. Uh, he was telling me he has 18 different openings for a swarm. Yeah. I'm out. That's, I mean, when he I was... Has, he has to think that much in order to just to fly. So you're saying it's path of least resistance. Why would you not just fly scum, for instance? Or bombers. Like, I love flying swarms, but, like, I want at max, like, five openings. Yeah. Like, to do... You know, like, it's... it's. You could be a scrub like me and have zero openings. Just put your ships down randomly each time. That's what I do. Sure. And just will will it into existence. Mm-hmm. And that's why I commentate. So there's uh, Christian getting all his dials down. And so, like I said, we're probably going to see a uh, trajectory simulator from, from, oh, five has the proton bomb and four has the seismic charges. Are we sure on that? I'm just checking. All right. So, um, we don't have a, a T-SIM bomb here from, from Christian right off the bot, right off the bat, which is, uh. Not something I expected, but it, it, I'm assuming it's coming next. Maybe round he's then. waiting. Maybe he wants to well, see where Tim goes on the first turn and then commit. Uh, after. A lot of the rocks. Oh no, he wasn't no, revealing his dials. Yeah. He he got the wrong dials out. Okay. So that's the problem when you bring three lists. Is sometimes they get a little uh, a little muddled. Absolutely. We work a little uh, a little extra. We build in a little extra time into our tournaments. So yeah, absolutely. Because I mean, the bar opened at eleven, guys. So I mean, it's not like America and when you got your freedom laws and the bars open at eight or nine. But eleven's uh, <laughs> pretty good for Canada. It's not bad, especially for a nice little comfortable legion. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you got to deal with a birthday party going on downstairs. But, uh, you know, for the most part, this is... Uh, a little bit of happy birthday acid jazz always goes a long way. Oh, man, I'm in. It's jizz. It's jizz. Sure? Yeah, this is the Star Wars universe. That's true. Stop saying jizz. <laughs> <laughs> it's canonical. It's not it's, dirty words. Okay. But I'll, I'll, I'll stop, Jack. Also, I don't think that Trickery Sim hits the bomb on the first turn, so I think he's got to go one four before he can do it. Yeah. Because neither of those are red lines, so he can't. The, the rocks are mostly uh, in balance on the left of the. They're on the, in the left of the mm-hmm. board, so uh, certainly he's going to one forward to victory for, for a little while. I don't see why he wouldn't, and I think Vader is going to probably try to do what we think he's going to try to do is come up from the side and flank. And then he's going to probably try to use red line and, and countdown to kind of usher them all into into a net. Yeah, absolutely. And you can see the the little bit of an angle Tim's put red line on mm-hmm. has given him options for... Either of those two lanes for him to attack. Oh, he's got so many options yeah. there, right? He can't really go down into like Vader's lane there on yeah. the bottom of the board. That's just going to be quite difficult to do. But he can pick either one of those two lanes that are positioned by those rocks across the middle board and just attack either one. The, yeah, but that's not... Yeah, exactly. That's not what red line's for. Red line in this list is to just get in there and just smash and just kill as much as possible. That's what the cluster missiles are for. It's what yep. the advanced proton torpedoes are for. Yeah. He's looking to trade red line for yeah, a at lot least of two ships. ships. Yeah. So if uh, four has the seismic charges, that's very interesting. So we're going to see Christian's very good at picking lanes and picking approaches for his bombers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think Christian's target is? I think Christian's going to throw a big net and kill whatever Tim gives you him. You think it's literally that simple? There's just no need for him to pick an option and just wait for the engagement to happen to him? Because he kind of wants all of them off the board. Like He really doesn't want to leave Vader because Vader could potentially solo a lot of this himself. If, if, if Christian's forces are hurt yeah. and he's, got a, he's out of munitions and out of bombs, uh, so it looks like Tim doing the 1K, mm-hmm. that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, he has no desire or reason to kind of joust three bombers. Uh, I think he kind of put countdown out there as a bait i'm, I'm not sure kind of I, i'm not sure i agree with that he could have like uh done one the aileron, aileron for hard one yeah uh, aileron bank hard one and he's in a similar position and not stressed but Fair. this this does slow him down yeah. right and again like i said tim's gonna want to get the red line in there and and really hurt christian's list absolutely plus the other reason why maybe he did four and five were backwards all right because four hat like 
Sorry, yeah, four has the seismic charges because that's what he's lining up to do with that. To bomb. blow up either of those two lanes, the big the way, one or the small one. And the reason I do that is the way he deployed it and the way he's positioned it here is to take out those bombs with the seismic I feel charges. like he's going to want to blast the big rock at the top board because that lets the bombers cut in with the three banks and just nuke red line. You know what the great thing about this position is? He can choose. He can choose. Yeah. Yeah. So if red line comes in fast, yeah. he can blow that one up. If uh, he needs to clear out the space, he can blow up the big one. Now we're seeing a couple of examples of how the new barrel roll works in 2.0. Line up the hashtags, and then the hash goes to the front or back of the ship. So it's actually almost even further, than I think, than it was in 1.0, mm -hmm. at least on the bigger basis. Uh, it's very interesting on the medium base. I think mm -hmm. a lot of us were doing that for uh, wrong for some time. Yeah, I, I definitely was the first time out. I thought it was yeah. just like it was in 1.0. Yeah. Oh, man, there's, uh, there's Vader. Mm -hmm. I think all of us expected that 5 forward. Now does he barrel roll? So yeah, just to clarify, for the barrel roll, mm -hmm. like the uh, the hash lines up with the front of the back, yeah. the medium base only. Yes, yeah, well, medium yeah. base only. And it looks funky to us because we're used to like lining up the base edges. It totally yeah. looked funky to me the first time I pointed it to me, but it's not yeah. that I didn't believe it. Now with supernatural <clears throat> reflexes, like mm -hmm. it looks like he's putting his Vader in a rough spot here. Supernatural reflexes turn any every single force user into a phantom. Yeah. So here he you're gets never in a bad position. Pointing at that rock doesn't matter next turn he'll be one way or the other and he also still gets a chance to decide if he wants the supernatural to the ship right and then yeah. come in that lane with a hard two or supernatural left it's a it's a great position for tim he he loses nothing in doing it yep absolutely and obviously he would have spent a force charge to do that and immediately regain it anyway so it doesn't really need to be come off the board in any such relationship yeah now how have you felt charges have affected the way you play this game at all I've oh, only man. had a handful of matches, and luckily I don't fly ships with charges, so... I hate it. Doesn't it. Okay. I hate it. I hate it. Because it's just a lot more to track? The white thing that is on Christian's Punishers are the new... The new... So these are um, new top eight PTL... Prizes? Top 8 prizes from the PTL Open. He just won those today. So that is going to be an ID token, or, or as we call it in Canada, a jersey. Oh, so right. the ships are jerseyed. Uh, the one will be P and one will be T. And, and then we uh, have subsequent target locks you can use to identify that as well. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, the top eight uh, players got, there's the uh, trajectory simulator bomb. Yep. And uh, he will spend a charge, but more than likely he's just going to straight reload that. Yep. And uh, producer Victor on the table will load that up for us. And there we go. Nicely placed between those rocks. I don't think uh, any of Tim's ships are going to be close enough to do any damage. But you're thinking there's no reason. Oh, he's no. not He's not doing that for damage. He's doing that to create the lane space. Of course. That's 100% of a board control. Yeah, absolutely. There's no, he doesn't even care about the damage. Yeah. I mean, he'd take it if somehow, and I mean, I don't think there's any world where Tim would go 5 forward with his punish. Well, 4 forward, can't even go 5 forward, and hit that rock, so. And there you see number 4 uh, has assigned itself a stress token. Yeah. Um, I believe that means it's... It stopped. It stopped. Yeah. yeah. So T-SIM stopped, so it doesn't have to worry about wasting its ablative plating. I say, often you see Chris, uh, Christian at this moment reloading, mm -hmm. but because we're a few turns in, mm -hmm. that, that's not happening. So these bombers have moved with the knowledge that that seismic charge is going off. Mm -hmm. and, and so they're... That's the one that I think he's going to explode then. Yeah. Well, Christian's a good enough player that... Should the small one need to go to get damage onto Vader? Which, he's still fine where he is. He's still fine where he is. And he yeah. has plenty of space to still maneuver those split strikers out. So this is basically how you open with a list that has a specific type of play. Yep. This is a list he's practiced, he's theorized, it's made sense, and he knows the opening. We had a store champs uh, a week or two after 2.0 came out, and uh, Christian rolled in with this list. And uh, he ruined went, everybody's day. Did he, he went not? Four and oh, now and, I'm fairly certain he did. He not make all of the top the the four to eight drop because they didn't want to play it. Yes. Nobody just didn't want to go against this. They're like, forget, it, I'll just drop. Yes. And we only had a top four cut because nobody wanted. We to had play a top it. four cut, and players four through eight yeah. dropped because <laughs> they did not want to face it. That's either why I, had or did not want to face this. List. That's why it should be called Hurricane Christian. Hurricane Drame. Whatever, whichever one. I think Drame sounds better. Hurry jury? Yeah, that's what we should call it. A nice slow move here from uh, Redline, putting her in a position where next turn she's going to be able to proton bomb into an engagement with the bombers. I think I better roll back. 
Uh, you barrel roll back, you start to lose your bombing position, which which Tim set up. Ah, fair enough. So you're, so you're thinking he's assuming that the, the rock on the big one's going to go, and he's going to bomb forward and block that hole so nobody can come in. Yeah. Forcing the bombers to go slow next turn. Yeah, he can barrel roll. I think that would be okay with number two. See, if but he doesn't I, I, throw I just... a bomb next turn, he risks missing tagging the bombers if they go fast. Yeah. If they go slow and he throws a bomb, he's lost a bomb. I mean, maybe. Uh, I really don't like Countdown's positioning here. Um, he's in a... The way he's sort of poked around, he can't really get in behind the bombers, right. which is where a Countdown needs to be. Oh, he's going to boost. Pull target Interesting. lock. Pull target lock. Well, he actually probably won't waste the action knowing that he's out of range. Um, I think he's out of range of the that rock there. Yeah. Well, he'll check. He's a free option. Then he can just pull the rock on the rock. He's checking for target lock, and he's checking to see if he's at range on that so rock. Now he will take two target locks on the rocks. Yeah, he must. Target lock. Tar Come on, Tim, you get target lock. Which rock? Now the second target lock is an optional target lock, correct? It's not a must. I believe so. It says you may can you may yeah. hold up the two target locks. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is also idiotic thing number two. Yeah. I've uh, I think about two point which is which is unfortunate. And here's that supernatural Vader is you have to target lock rocks and it's just like that's weird. Like I get it, but it's weird. I think they're trying to clean up the whole fact that there's no longer you can you you know you must you must you must take an action. And I understand that, and I actually kind of like that. Oh personally. no, Tim. Oh, he's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Oof, he's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. He's fine. It's fine. Supernatural reflexes. Fair. He'll pull target lock here, and then he can supernatural next turn. Yep. And that's beautiful there, the and little force still, charge going away. He can still spend a force uh he can still spend a force on offense if he wants to regen one supernatural barrel roll ship right and be right in behind the punishers. Right where he wants to be. Uh, it was a bold move, Cotton, but it paid off. You sure he doesn't want a supernatural boost, take a damage, go over a rock, take another damage, and then just bump into a, a, bo a bomber? Probably not. Oh. I mean there's a reason why he's got Boba Fett templates. Because he doesn't do stuff like that. Oh, I would do something like that. That's why we're commentating. I, I would not do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but my opponent will never expect it. Do not recommend. No. So I think right now, is he just worrying about target priority? Or is he worrying whether or not he wants to spend Vader's uh, force for a second action? And he, he does. linked action for a stress then? Or he's just spending a second force token? Okay, interesting. So he's very aggressive now. He wants to... He wants to put the early damage through on that lead punisher. Christian's blowing up the big rock, mm -hmm. clearing the lane, because mm -hmm. both of them now know that that the small rock is not in range of uh, yep red line, so there's there would be no reason to blow it up. Which means there's also now if you're Christian on the next round, do you throw the proton bomb or do you throw the seismic charge? Por qué no los dos? Can you throw? Oh yes, you're right. He can throw both. You're right. He can throw both. That'll be an unobstructed range three shot. It looks like onto. That lead cutlass, cutlass five. Uh, well, they'll tell us. Let's. Oh, oh, those horns, those horns, to me. All right. So it looks like it is obstructed. As you can, as you can see, there is no. Uh, there is definitely a lot of familiarity with playing on stream from these two players. Christian pointing to the rock, that's obstructed shot. So that'll be a range three obstructed. On that one. Or they're going to continue to measure until they get the result that they want. Call a judge. We've got uh, Aaron P. in there. That's what judges are for. Tim Tim would be upset with me if I didn't call Aaron P. David Grohl. That's true. So I'll do that now. That's true. Papa Palpatine, just bring him in. And here he is to give us the official ruling. I'm thinking this might end up going unobstructed. Hard to tell. We're not on the board. It is obstructed? Ah. Yeah. There you go. This is why you call a judge, kids. And there we go. Just fine. Spend, spend the, spend oh, the spend focus. focus. Spend the focus. It hit crit. With the, to, with the Vader. It's a great way to start the game. He's going to be stripping shields off that uh, cutlass. Mm -hmm. Although I believe he's got many evades. Range 3 obstructed. Oh, all the evades. <laughs> Whatever. Still takes one, though. Does you he spend the focus? He's, why not? Yeah, I think so, too. I think, I think you're not going to do any meaningful damage with your two attacks. Hmm, what's Christian One attack? Postulate? He's going to have two attack dice on Vader. And, and that's the return shot's shot. probably obstructed as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So... No, I think I focused... I don't think I take the damage here, did he? 
I, I mean, I think he's still deciding. Ah, there you go. Thank you, John uh, Rainbow. You... He's holding on to the focus for Barrage. Duh, maybe we should look at the lists. Ah, a token list Vader with Barrage. But even now if... I know why he took this. That's why he held on to it. But even if he has a shot, like... He might not even have a shot. Pop yeah. Team checking for us. No shot. Yeah? No shot. You know what, though? In so that respect, respect I think... I think if I'm Christian, I did, I'd probably do make the same choice. One shield trade for a potential unmodded shot, like unmodified defense roll from Vader. I guess. Early damage on Vader puts him really in scary position. I, I'm not against that choice. He's got the hull to play with. Oh, there's... Uh, we got Tim's face. He's getting down. Let's check it for obstruction of the red line, or... I think he should... I think he should shoot cluster missiles at that asteroid. Yeah, I think so, too. Right? So, all right. So, du uh, Dutch, Back to Dallas, no Dutch Co. He was the active ship. So the Scimitar Five or Cutlass uh, Five was the ship that was activating. That was the only other ship that was in range, yep. and that's why he was able to measure for uh, because uh, we knew earlier when Redline tried to take its target lock that nothing else was in range. Absolutely. So you might see a, an occasional skip of a step here or there. These players are pretty seasoned, been playing for a long time, yeah. and, and if sometimes that goes over, but f feel free to call that out. We'll see if we miss anything. Just be safe. And so I mean, from the bombers, I'm expecting either something pretty slow, like one banks, one forwards from all of them. They're in a pretty good place, mm -hmm. uh, and if they all sort of one forward or one bank, then uh, they'll, for the most part, be out of the bomb damage. So this is going to be a pretty crunchy round. I think you're going to see a lot of damage here. Mm-hmm. I think so. Because you're, as you were saying, Christian could definitely launch a proton bomb, launch a seismic charge, blow up that rock, blow up everybody with a proton bomb. Two forward, his bombers all have focus, barrage the shit out of whatever it can see. Yeah. I mean, he's going to eat cluster mi cluster missiles from Redline no matter what. It's just a matter of which ship Tim decides to prioritize. Well, if he's got multiple shots, he'll be using the cluster missiles, or he'll be advanced protoning something off the board. Or both as well. Yeah. And I mean... He T sims a proton bomb forward as well, so I think Krishna has to go slow because he doesn't want to risk um, so flying here's, his here's whole So here's a proton bomb from uh, uh, Cutlass Five. Yeah. Yeah, literally no reason to not do that. That's a hundred percent what he should have done. Uh, that poor that poor rock in the middle there. It's got bombed. It's got target locked. Yep. Here comes this uh, seismic. Everybody seems to have it out for that bomb, and now it's going to get exploded by a seismic charge. So if they could just put the seismic charge on the rock. Yeah, yeah. they've just agreed that it's going to hit it no matter what. We all know that that's now the range one, and that's a serious no-fly zone. I mean, I'm that's assuming something... Vader's going to barrel ship right. And Tim's like, I can do the same trick you can. Here comes my own yeah. bomb. And so certainly something we've started to see is uh, players doing this where... They acknowledge that the rock is in range one of the, the seismic charge, and then yep. they put the seismic charge on the rock. That so is that we destroyed. know how it's going to be done, because that's yep. the only way it will take damage. It's not going to take damage from the bomb itself. Uh, Tim using an old acrylic uh, thermal, thermal detonator. detonator. I've got some of those. Yeah. I actually lost all the rest of my bomb tokens. I don't even know where my bomb lid is. I just use the thermal detonator for everything, because it's, it's the only acrylic bomb I have. And it's pretty. Because I got screwed out of my Connernet at Nationals. Yeah, well, the Connernet wasn't good anyway. I know, but still. I earned <laughs> it, man. Damn you, you. you did earn it. You did Damn earn you, Kaelin Long. So, one forward and a blade of plating away. Uh, a blade of plating only works on uh, ships that have it or friendly bombs. And he has neither of those two things going on right now. Fair enough. Yes. Well, he's got friendly bombs. He's got friendly... He has friendly bombs, but he does not have a blade of plating on any uh, of his cutlasses. That, that, sh that card you see on the screen. Yeah. Not on the board today. Tim's got it on his red line. Uh, so he does. Which I love that call. I, I Having flown a Punisher only twice, I yeah. could feel like, yeah, considering you always bomb yourself, it's nice to have that a blade of plating. So that was a great barrel roll from Christian. Uh, setting up a block for Vader if he comes into the, into the left lane there. Uh, his... Uh, Vader's um, port lane, mm -hmm. as, uh, as I might say. Do you um, do you think? I I don't think there's any. I think super. I think he's definitely barrel rolling right and then hard running for a range one shot or hard two. And, sorry. And then five can leave a proton bomb behind him for next turn. But but Vader has a five straight. Yeah. Well, and so he's got to go fast because he can't eat another Fair. proton bomb from behind five. No, listen. And five I, can start reloading. I, I proton bombs. I would not want to be on either of these two. Here's the one forward from all the bombers and the focus setting up a nice. Big barrage, 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 barrage. Right, a barrage uh, of barrage. Would that be uh, a murder of barrages? Uh, a mischief so, of barrages? 
We don't Listen, know. Listen, a, a destruction of barrages. Of bar- oh, what's that? A barrel, of barrages. a barrel of barrages. I like that one. Yeah. So um, we're going to see countdown smashing into the uh, into the middle of all those barrage shots. I think he's going to want to make. Oh, he's a hard two. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, just don't engage. Okay. Because that's not what they did. So, um, I think it'll be interesting to see here where Redline ends up. Oh, yeah. Avoiding so, his own bombs, but so, seeing if he... Uh, so, Tim really wants to maximize the ability to use uh, cluster yeah. missiles and shoot those bombers. Yeah. So, he's feeling for him the bombers are the threat because there's three of them. So, Redline, unless Redline boosts and or barrel rolls, is going to be taking three damage from those bombs. So, I imagine we're going to see... You see a boost and to an action for a target lock, which means a proton Correct. torpedo. Advanced proton torpedo coming number bomber number three's way. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Redline's free ab- ability to take a target lock whenever they do an action, and specifically yeah. also allowed to maintain two target locks. So you definitely take the one for that shot, and then you move it on. Do you move it on to two, or do you move it on to one? Or do you try to put it on one of the Punishers? So I think it's on three. I don't think he's taken a, uh, a second lock. Oh, has he decided not to? Uh, the vast majority of Redline players I've seen don't take the second lock. Why not? Why wouldn't you? I have no idea. I, w- I always do the few times I played her. Him, her, it, They forget. Them. Fair. You know how a ship's overpriced? Yeah. When you don't use its ability. Yeah, fair enough. Or underpriced, sorry. Yeah. yeah. When it's got too much to do that you forget to use all of it? Well, oh, I'm winning and I didn't use all of its powers. Yeah. So I'm hoping we see a nice two straight from Vader into a nice range one shot. Yeah. Well, Redline starts at 44 points, which would be 22 points in uh, old 1.0 style. Mm-hmm. And that's dirt cheap. And there we got a bump there from uh, Christian's bump Vader with that barrel roll. And they're going to slide that, uh, that template out. And so Vader, after Supernatural Reflexes, I believe, spent another force and uh, got that, or focus. Uh, or linked action, linked action, focus, and then uh, cleared stress with the two bank blue. Great. But still sitting on only one force stock. Right. Because he used two in the opening engagement to get that one shield through. Well, proton bombs doing nothing, and some are. So nobody gets hit by the proton. Does anyone get hit by the rock? So Christian tags his own ship. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, does he just miss it? So I think it no is it tag ta- no, it doesn't no tag anybody, no eh? But wow. That's still Christian's still fine with that, right? It's clearing his lanes. He's uh getting things off. Okay, so we got the one proton bomb. Does it hit doesn't hit the bomber. And Tim Tim's using one charge of a blade of plating. I would definitely do that. As so well. it just hits uh, Cutlass Force. So three yeah. bombs into one damage. I'm going to tell you, I did not expect that to be the way that went. These, this is why you're seeing some good quality play. Both players aware of the range of bombs and what they can do, and both players managing to miss almost all the damage that was potential. Vader, unable to shoot uh, Bomber 3, is going to shoot uh, Cutlass 4. All right, let's see. Now, he does not have a target lock on that. Uh, two hits is two enough. Two hits, just two hits. Yeah, thanks for putting in the uh, dice tray. One of aid. And he's going to take another shield. Yeah. So that's just only two shields down. Like, for the amount of bombs and shots, like, Vader's shot twice, we've got yeah. four bombs off. The amount of damage is pretty light. Minimal the- on Christian's side, because that's what his list is fine with. He can spread the damage out. And the board's getting real open. Yeah. Here's the uh, advanced proton torpedoes. With the target lock, and that is spending a focus. Uh, I know the advanced proton torpedo turns an eye to a crit. I think. No. No. One point oh, it did. Let's hope they remember that. Can you bring up advanced proton torpedoes? Can you bring up advanced proton torpedoes? Hit to a crit. Change one hit result. So he had hit, focus, crit. Right. And then he got two crits and a hit from the ability. Yeah. Let's go see how we do it. 
So we're seeing a whole bunch of these uh, 2.0 Kiss of Deaths on stream here where the fuel leak procs beforehand and does a whole bunch of extra damage from the from the crit stacking the way it works. So that... Yeah, that crit was terrible. So that Punisher, that, that bomber took a ton of damage because it looked like it had double fuel leaks. At least they're now both out of the game. So they got it right. Yep. Yeah, they missed it. And you got double fuel leaks. And you got double fuel leaks. That's uh, everyone's favorite 2.0. Uh... Kiss of death. Yeah, well, fuel leak into a direct hit is, is what you really don't want to see happening. Yeah. But that one bomber took a ton of damage on that proton torpedo. But it lived. It did live, which is bad news. Uh, so we'll have to see if Countdown... I'm assuming Countdown's also going to shoot that same ship. Just fired. And Zero damage. It didn't kill it? No, it spent focus to do so. That's that's what I said Christian needed in this first round, was to not lose a ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly we're going to see uh, range one there from three unmodded is going to be rough, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to get the barrage rockets going. Yeah. And uh, he's going to have two range one shots and a barrage rocket shot onto... Oof. Focus uh, for three. Go. Focus for three. Red line takes three. Yep. Shields down a red line. And that was Cutlass four, it looks like. Yeah. So red line's going to eat a lot of pain here. Yeah. So this is not, not great for Tim. So this is probably bomber three now? Well, we'll see. Range one shot, nada. This is where he's probably missing his old uh, op spec. Oh, yeah, op spec was great. All right, measuring for one. I think maybe just out. We'll see no, how many dice range get. One. Range one, okay, range so one. Maybe primaries as well then. Still three dice, still three hits. Focus for three. Ooh. Nothing again on red three line. Three more down. It's more three. Three more. Red line sitting on three, which means one more bomber still's got a range one shot on it, I believe. Yep. Which here, here it comes now. Christian rolls well here. This could be very tough for red line. Ooh, that's pretty good. Two hits. Yep, three hits. Ooh. Red line lives on one. Limping by on one. Wow. Yep. So wow. basically the answer to the ooh, everybody complaining about Punishers being too good is just fly more bombers. Sure. <laughs> or fly Punisher, Punishers with some bombers. That's exactly it. Yep. Now this this uh this list of Christians is brutal. It really is. And I would point out like the next shot essentially on Scimitar three kills it. If it's a crit. Right. Because a fuel leak will if it's a crit, fuel leak triggers. So if Vader gets a good shot on three, dead. Yeah, but he's what has he done? He's traded potentially one ship for an almost dead red line. I would yeah. happily give up a bomber for red line. The, yeah. the, the, the cutlass, uh, the cutlass sitting two shields down is is still okay. It still has a seismic left. It still has full barrage rockets. It's it's going to be able to either chase or put pressure on Vader. Christian's um, a level player. He definitely is. And like, like as somebody was saying right there, uh, McPoll thirteen, I think they're pointing out the swag that Tim rocks. He's no slouch of a player either. He's just Neither a these stellar players. top tiers. I mean, our top eight is full of killers. Yeah. Uh, I'm blanking because I've had three very long days on, on our top eight, but it's uh, a lot of locals here. And oh, yeah. Uh, Evan Cameron versus Don, Don K. Yeah. Both of those longtime well known players. That's a match I wish I could get on. I wish I could stream all of these. We got Bohan, former national, Canadian national champion, versus Raf, a PTL local. You know, Robin and Jackie, both very good, uh, long-time PTL stalwarts. And then uh, this this game here, Christian versus Tim. I think we've only... The only people not from the PTL in the top eight this year are uh, are Don from Hamilton and uh, Bohan from London. So. But Don's PTL, let's be real. And uh, I feel like we adopted Bohan, too. They're all... All of Ontario slash Canada is PTL. That's how we do. That's how we do it. Yeah. Yeah. When we're in America, we're all PTO. When exactly. we're in Canada, we're all we're all we're all broken up in our little squadrons. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, uh, Christian there rocking the old PTL templates. We're mm -hmm. gonna get uh, new ones done. Those have been scored on the back, so they're 2.0 legal. I love those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is uh, one hell of a, a match, and I'm gonna be interested to see how how Tim. How does he not proton bomb his own? 
Countdown, who's probably going to aileron left hard one to flank. And not... Countdown's got a K turn here. You think? Yeah, so 3K? He, uh, well, aileron. One forward. A aileron ship port. Or sloop. And then two, two K, two sloop, one yeah, away the other. I think you aileron ship left and you two sloop just to get out of the way of... Because I think Tim's got to drop a proton bomb behind his red line. You're going to be seeing 4Ks and 5Ks from all the bombers. You think? And just give zero Fs about the proton bomb, because whatever? Uh, maybe. I think if I'm Tim, you absolutely drop a proton bomb. Oh, Tim's going to drop a proton bomb because red line is dead. Yeah. And you need to get the, 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 the points on the board. Yeah. Right? Like, you spent points on that. Not a lot of points, because 2.0, I mean, uh, proton bombs are extremely undercosted. Yeah. But uh, certainly it'll be interesting to see where Redline ends up and how Tim maneuvers and tries to keep her alive. Um, it, it'll be interesting to see if Christian takes this opportunity to try and continue to block Supernatural Reflex's Vader. Mm -hmm. um, certainly number five has to do a green maneuver, but four could, you know do a hard maneuver and stop or some such nonsense right. um, also if Tim had not done the boost there off of the free action mm -hmm. red line would be dead he yes. dodged arcs with that boost yes that's the important thing to know yeah and because the amount of dice would not have gone down because he would be uh, would have been at in barrage would have gotten barrage rockets rocketed that's, instead of primary exactly and he would have been got been getting tagged by the other cutlass yeah so four stopped so uh Four stopped. Four stopped. Okay, yeah. So four has stopped. Yeah. And then five has set up to block Supernatural Vader from coming into where the bombers are. Yeah. Right? So he's set up. Uh, there's very few positions here for Vader to go um, that he's not going to get shot or bumped. Right? Mm -hmm. And so I imagine we're going to see the bombers setting up a, a net to to put barrage rockets on Vader. Right. Although I imagine... Hard twos, potentially? No, not hard maneuvers. Like big, big bankies. No. Oh. Something like that. There might we'll see or it. might we'll see. not have been a shotgun that just happened. D uh, I think there was. I'm not going to... Comment on that. Interesting. Three bailing. I think he's, he's, he's trying to block the striker. He's trying to block the striker, absolutely. So, they're going to come in. Uh, the strike, the, the punisher, they're just being proxied while we move the bombers. Yep. And uh, so, bomber number... F no. Punisher four... It's just like the big chunky ones. Yeah. I mean, this list is thick. It's yeah. just like it's hard to get through. So, oh, and a barrel roll into a target lock maybe here? Oh, is that a linked action for bombers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just don't see it because they all have barrage rockets. Yeah, because nobody ever uses it. Yeah. Interesting. That's a really great thing to have. I would definitely do that. But no, because he's probably going to want a K turn next turn, don't you think? Bombers uh, have the three and the five K turns? Yeah. So then if he stresses himself, he can't K turn next turn. No, so he's not then. That's interesting, though. Uh, I wonder what he's blocking there, if he's just trying to get out of arcs. I think maybe he's just trying to get out of the way of the proton bomb and keep his ship as live as long as possible. Sure. Oh, interesting. He's looking to trap a uh, countdown, maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think he figures at this point he has a life lead on red line. He's got a lot of options he knows he can't really do much with vader so just let let vader continually flank him and strafe him Looks but if he like can take two other uh, ships off the board then he's just got vader and all of his lift le list left it's just a lot for vader to have to dodge i mean um i'm not sure if christian has lost with this list i think he's lost once or twice no he said he's almost maybe potentially lost once right and that was uh in a game where he did 16 damage to himself with bombs yes yeah agreed so, um, certainly, in a, against an aces list, he is more than willing to bomb the heck out of himself. If he gets the job done. Uh, yep. Yeah. Especially now that we're in top eight, MOV no longer really matters. It's just the win. You just gotta get through. Yeah, whatever it gotta, takes, right? You just gotta get it done. The Imperial model, just whatever it takes. The whole ruthless aspect of it. Yeah. So, I wonder if uh, bomber number one back there is doing like a three or four forward or something. Oh, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Tim using our PTL uh, ship markers there from the last season. Interesting. I'm 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 covering every arc. I guess, except where Redline's going to be. But I figure he. I guess he figures. What's the point? Don't force it. What's Redline going to do to him? Drop that one torpedo, and that's it. So I dropped that one bomb. 
Be interesting to see here if he barrel rolls to avoid the bomb, which he's, I mean, he's holding it. Yeah, yeah. there we go. All right, that's bomber one. So we're not going to see uh, any barrage rocket shots this round. Oh, one, number five's got to focus. But if Vader did something funky, something short, mm -hmm. yeah, you can. It has a one up. straight now. Tie advanced have one straights. He's uh, checking for the linked target lock action. He's taking it on Vader using the new 2.0 target locks from the core set. Putting the bomber back on. All right, but Tim, where's Vader going? He's got to do countdown first. Oh, he's got to do count. Oh, he's got to do his whole list. What am I? Uh... Yeah, he's got. Listen, gotta... I'm just excited for Vader. I want to know what Vader's doing. He's got to. Well, I kind of hope he put a run forward in, because they can do that now. They can actually one forward would be a great maneuver. Yeah, one back would be the bump. He could always just change locks onto the bigger one, to the untouched one. He can supernatural barrel roll and do a bank mm -hmm. one bank, and that'd be a great position. That too. But no matter where he is, he's now behind two Punishers with bombs. Yes. Yes. Oh, interesting. Is he going to bump there? He's certainly bumping. Bump. That's... Yeah, that's a bump. So that's a dead countdown. So countdown's going to take a crit, a crit and a barrage rocket shot for one damage. And then a... a just a, I don't know, primary from number four, but probably number four probably won't do any damage. But I mean, that's half points on. Uh, countdown is when you're undamaged, you roll additional attack die, or is it the no countdown take is take the stress to reduce the damage to one. Yeah, take mm. stress to reduce damage to one. Countdown actually counters a lot of stuff. I was flying against the counters juke counters. Um, what does he counter? There's a lot of stuff in Imperial. So like counters track shot. I love the countdown now has an EPT and juke on on those strikers is a great way to push damage through. Yeah. Uh, it's just unfortunate here that Tim just doesn't have that uh, ability. He bumped. Yeah, he bumped. Like he forgot the uh, the order in which his his ships maneuvered. So now red line here target locking, but and not taking the second. Target. No, he took one. Oh, he, he took, took one two. Yeah, he, he two? took it this time. Good. Took it on ship one and ship four. It must have been because he knew for sure he was going to use his proton torpedoes. But still, there's no reason not to. Um, absolutely take the second target lock no matter what. Because he only took damage. He didn't take any crits, so there's nothing to fix. There's the supernatural barrel roll to the right. Um, so I might, bank, yep. I, I might have reloaded my proton bombs and then dropped another proton bomb. Mm. Maybe. I mean, you're not getting shot. There's the one bank from Vader. Yeah, I bet you Christian wish he would have dropped a pro proton bomb that turn. Called it. Uh, yes, Christian should definitely have dropped a proton bomb. But if he does, Vader just goes a different direction and bumps. And... That's true. With the one bank, he can just boost. No, he can't boost anymore. He lost Ninja upgrade. So it looks like five is out. And Countdown is going to take... Oh, blinded Pilot on five or Blinded Pilot? Okay. On okay. Blinded Pilot on Countdown. Oh, and that bomber is out. Wow. Oof. So, Tim only bombing himself with blinded pilot. It's rough. Well, he's got no tokens, so yep. really there's no difference. No, no, it's just the fact that... Uh, the the 2.0 count... The 2.0 blinded pilot's a lot... A lot uh, I wasn't saying in that respect. I was talking about how absurd all of the um, bomb avoidance has been this game from these uh, players. Vader, Vader went all in and just Vader range one and oh. no reason not to. So three crits or two crits? There it is, socks and sandals. Oh great! That's inside. So that's a uh, hit and two. Hit that's and a two Tim. Crits. That's not an inside joke. That's a Tim only. Yeah, well, you know. Tim only joke. I know the story now, so at least I'm somewhat inside. Uh, I know it's still not a great story. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. Uh, and Kristen rolling rolling an evade too. That's the maximum disrespect when you only have the one evade die and you roll that free evade. Just feels like you're just. Pulling damage away from your opponent, it hurts. Oh my god. Uh, well, like I said, Christian and I are, are sworn players. Range two here from countdown, putting one into the into the cutlass squadron. Who can still evade? And uh, what Christian says is, uh, it, when when a tie fighter doesn't roll an evade, mm -hmm. it feels like I failed you. Yeah. When a bomber or a punisher rolls an evade, it feels like disrespect to your opponent. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Because, I mean, the, the bombers are just so chunky with the six hull. All right. Here comes Countdown. Now, Countdown can still use his ability. Uh, yeah. So I think maybe I attack with Cutlass 4 first. Wouldn't you? Sure. Uh, it looks like he's... Because if you get lucky and get two, hi two hits, you force Countdown into... Oh, natties. You definitely use the ability. Take the stress, take one damage. Yep, yep. stress takes one. So that's two damage onto Countdown. Yep. And, uh... Countdown using his ability there, you can see on screen. That's and why I think I would have activated... Half points on Countdown. Oh, just one. Just one. Countdown takes one. One's enough. Yeah. Tim saying good game to Christian... Although Vader can probably do work, but it's going to be a lot. Well, he can fly. He can fly his absolute ass off and still potentially take the whole list. It is Vader, but there's a lot Christian's of Christian saving the, the the target lock on Vader mm -hmm. from number one for a better shot. For a better shot one. later. Yeah. 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 Vader only going to regen one force this round, mm -hmm. which he'll have to spend for supernatural. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. That's the thing, right? Supernatural is kind of like a bit of a drug, especially on Vader, because you get Force Drunk with all of his abilities and power. And you can't boost. It's, well, yeah. If you do boost, you take that damage. Yeah. Do you want to... It's Do you want to start the game off one Force down or two? Because it's kind of like once you start that, you're always... He doesn't regen as fast as Luke does, right? So you, you, yeah. you don't want to spend the Force with impunity. Now, I don't necessarily disagree with uh, Tim's decision in the first round to get that Focus Token. He did do early damage he wanted to try to get out ahead of the cutlasses and start putting some pressure on them so yeah i could totally see why he took the extra force token well, he's because he couldn't bomb. link to action barrel because he couldn't link to action because he would have been stuck with a with a, a stress right in front of an asteroid uh, this is still a, a, a pretty tight game absolutely right? uh christian hasn't taken anything off the board tim hasn't taken anything off the board red lane's still alive she can come around and still cluster misses something before she dies she can still potentially kill something and, and yeah. mortally wound something else it's gonna be difficult for christian to get guns on redline at this point so they get a ton of time for him to turn around all these ships they don't turn around very well uh number five um might be doing like a hard turn try and keep in and get uh get after redline but mm -hmm. certainly the other ships are gonna have to start k turning and and uh, repositioning and resetting up right yeah bombers have three k's as well i believe don't they hmm? bombers have three k turns as well uh, I think just four and five. Oh, okay. I mean, Tim's oh, already right. yes, Tim said good game to his opponent, but I think if he tries really hard with Vader, he might be able to to dig into some of that chunk, right? Hundred percent. There's and always a game. Uh, to to Tim's detriment, almost Vader is a very light Vader at eighty five points. So you're saying the more points he had, he could just points fortress and potentially win on points. Yeah. But uh, in order to do that, you know, he he can if there are two scimitars left. And like one on half, then he's got points. He just needs to stay out of them, right? So he's, mm -hmm. if he if he finishes off the scimitar and one of the the cutlasses, mm -hmm. right? Then he really only has to work on one more ship off the board, mm -hmm. right? And if he plays coy, I mean, like I think he has a path to victory. I'm not saying that he's um, going to win, no, nope. right? But he's, he's he's not. He has to make better decisions, I guess, at this point. Um, so I think we expected this from number five, uh, dropping a proton bomb just to, you know. Why not? Well, you have to limit uh, Vader's options. Options, yep. Right, like he's probably not going to supernatural reflexes. He does only have one force. So Tim, uh, Christian wants to limit where Tim's going to go with that with that ace, right? Um, and as you said earlier, the, the tie advance now has that one forward. Mm -hmm. So it'll be... Uh, He's trying to prevent him from using something like that. There oh, that's right. It does have a 3K. Yeah. yeah, 3 and 5. Yeah. Three and five. It's the TIE yeah. Fighter that has 4 and 5. Oh, right. Okay. Right? Yeah, 3 and 5. Yeah, the 3 is new. That's Is that new? Yeah. It only had the 5 before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense for a missile ship to have the 3 and the 5, the tight and the wide. Interesting. It is interesting that... Um, Christian wasn't reloading with uh, with his bombs. Mm -hmm. Normally he does that so he has more in the game, mm -hmm. but I think he's been blocking and using number four in an interesting way. So mm -hmm. 
Uh, he well, I think he's going to... a chance to reload and get those extra bombs back. Do you think there's going to be a barrel roll here from Cutlass 4 so he could maybe try to block Vader into I that bomb? I think that's a great idea. But uh, we'll see if Christian uh, has at it. Or does he target lock and then he's K turn better. next round? He's target yeah. locking? Okay. Yeah. Target also locking choice. Vader. Utilizing those new ship markers effectively. Yeah. And there's something slow from number one who's going to have a focused target yeah, lock on Vader. Makes sense. Clearing the stress, taking yeah. the focus. Yeah, absolutely no reason not to. I mean, red line's probably going to be gone. Uh, we're going to see an interesting... Oh, three forward. So Countdown's going to put some pain into number one. Mm -hmm. uh, but number one is is probably fine. He can probably take it. He probably can't survive two shots. No. Uh, red line probably going to evade here. Let's, let's, see, let's see it. Nope, put it right behind the ship so we don't know what you did. That's fine. Oh, so we are down two rocks, and that's two seismic charges. Then like, it's such a different game. It's so much, much more open. Yeah, I think um, we see a boost here. Mm. Or no, he has the hard two next turn. He's reloading. He's reloading. Oh, that makes sense too. Yeah. So what are, what are we reloading now? Do you only reload one charge only? One charge only. Ah, uh, not one across everything. He reloaded ablative. No. No proton. Yeah. yeah. Reloading advanced proton torpedoes. Interesting. I would have done proton bombs. Well, I would have done pro see, but if he'd done proton bombs last turn mm -hmm. and then advanced proton produce this turn. But next turn he'll be able to do his two hard and then a boost into advanced proton torpedoes and he'll mm -hmm. be able to take uh, bomber one or, or cutlass four off the board, mm -hmm. right? So here's here's Tim supernatural reflexes. Mm -hmm. Right? He's probably gonna go ship right. Yeah. And maybe he's got a four four programmed or maybe even a one four programmed. Um We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, we'll he's see. Thinking. I mean, isn't he okay with a bump on one? Yeah, he's, he's happily, yeah, he's happy yeah. with a bump on one. That's fine. Yeah, absolutely. A bump on one would be... I ideal is the wrong word, but fine. Like, yeah. not getting shot is fine. Yep. Right? Especially considering he can he can also link fo uh, linked action to a focus here now. And then clear the stress. I believe the one for it is blue on the tide vents. Uh, it is. Or no, is it white? Uh, he's going to reveal a dial, one forward. He's not going to link to action. He's just going to slide forward. I think that's because it's white. Oh, is it white? Yeah. Oh, you're right, it is. I guess it makes sense. It's new for the ship, so... And that's why he didn't take the focus there. Otherwise, there'd be no reason not to link to action to the focus. Oh, he did. Oh, he did take it anyways. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I get that, because he had Why to, is he stressed? Because he linked action. No, oh, he, yeah, he linked yeah, action to right, the focus. Right, the linked actions are red. Yeah. He couldn't spend the force to do it. That's okay. I caught up. Should he not have still one force left? I know he spent it for super, supernatural reflexes. Yeah, but he had... No, he, he, had he, he used it up. He only had one. He was down to zero, and then he regen to one. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like, getting down to zero on Vader is real rough. Like, if you have no force, you need to just... But that's the thing. It's so easy to get in that situation. I'm, I'm scared of playing Vader because he's so... He can just do anything, right? It's like that whole unlimited oh, power. Yeah. But then it's limited and you blow up. Yeah. So that's the thing that's crazy. So is he shooting? He's shooting number five. five. Yeah, he's yeah. focusing his fire. Now his choice decision is focus. I think he focused here. Uh, he's taking zero shots, right? Uh, he's taking one from, from a target locked ship. No. Uh, Cutlass five. He's going to spend oh, the target Oh, Cutlass 5K turned. Oh my gosh, of Spending course. Spending the target lock? I can't uh, tell if these ships are forwards or backwards. No, he's elected to just focus instead of the target lock. So focus and yep. then Vader's focus, ability. Crit. That's absolutely the thing to do. Uh, hit, crit, crit. <sighs> disrespect. Maximum disrespect each time. Uh, that's two crits? Yep. What do we got? Structural? Oh. They're coming up. Yeah. Damaged engine. That's okay. all right. Def sure. Bet, bet Christian's laughing about that. I think that's a stacked damage deck over there. He's getting double Does crits. Turn your whites to red? Double fuel leak. Turn so, your blues to red? Turns your blues white and your uh, whites no, red. Double. Oh, no, I don't think so. Okay. It reduced the difficulty. I mentioned they might stack. I think they might stack. Well, there might be a judge call. I don't but know. But he doesn't have blue heart. Like, there's, no, there's nothing more difficult than a red. That's yeah, true. Other than non-existent. Yeah. Countdown just whiffed. Yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what Countdown and then, does. And then Christians is all over just the place. Disrespect. He's Duke, just, and he's still fine. Too many evades. He's just rolling nothing but evades. Christians is a, Christian has... <laughs> what, what, what a he was trying to recharge force. Oh. Okay. 
still a little premature, I think. Come on, Tim. We got a judge on the table for that nonsense. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a lot of crits packed up on that cut list there. Uh, yeah. A little bit. Uh, bomber is out. Bomber is out. Uh, number two's got a shot on countdown there. Mm -hmm. Who's sitting on one life? A uh, primary two v three. No needs, mods on any of these. Just needs two hits. Oh, he may have an evade. Yeah, he he's does fine. from the juice. Yeah. So, all right, come on, Christian. We're all waiting for that shot on Vader. Yes, please. Oh, on countdown. countdown. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's unmodded. It makes sense. Why would you spend well, the? Because no, he's got an evade. He's also only got one life left. I feel like at this point now, Christian's just leaving Vader for the end. He's I got mean, a clear space, and if he's got five ships, then Vader can only go and run or go to so many different places. I, I guess, but like when I was like theory crafting out like Tim's only path to victory, it was mm -hmm. like Darth Vader versus the world and fly like a god, and and you know don't kill everything, but you know win on MOV. Um, but he doesn't get half on everything though. I guess getting getting countdown off the board is is more important than potentially damaging Vader. I think so. Scaring Vader. I think so, because he's got to he's he's got to think about the fact that again, red line's gonna come around. She's gonna get another pass. She's gonna fire again before she dies. That that's key. That is really key. That red line's gonna get off another munition before she goes. Yeah. And she's got two target locks, and she could kill one and four. Yeah, exactly. If he gets the shot, he could easily take down two ships. Or he, she could she could hurt one and kill four. Yep, and and certainly there's a lot of options there. Mm -hmm. um, so, oof. Oh, we have a question in chat mm -hmm. about uh, 200 O's. And there were a couple of 200 O's this weekend, but uh, not a lot. No, yeah, to be honest, with you, I was going to say a 2.0 in general has made quote, quote unquote tablings very rare. I would say like, other than it's like, possible, uh, but it's very it's much more rare. And I we haven't seen anything on stream that was. Anything but close in points wise, to be honest with you. Like, um, I'm really enjoying um, the half points aspect of it. it it's making yeah. games a lot tighter. Yeah. Uh, and Roll Squadron and ACUR, I, I see the same thing you're saying too. Games do sometimes take longer uh, because there's just so a lot offense, more ships on the board. Though. Offense is down. There's less yep. uh, highly modded attacks. Yep. So, certainly, games go to time more often. Yes. And uh, when you're seeing a lot of uh, lists like we have, like Christians. Yep. Where you Attrition just, lists, you high just, health lists. Just chunk or just like, uh, you know, four rebel ships with two agility and a lot of uh, hull and shields. Like it's, it's, there were more that we, we had a, we, I don't think we got it on stream, but there were two, two players. One of their lists was uh, seven quad jumpers. I don't know where they found them all. Uh, Greg Burns, he did get on stream, but yeah. he played a list that had four of them only. Four. Four and Kath. Yeah. And so uh, there was one game I wish we could have gotten on stream today, uh, which was a seven quad jumper versus four Sigma Juke list. That was Greg. He told me he played that the game no, after the, he went There was stream. two different people oh, playing. Oh, was those. it really? There were a lot of the okay. four Phantom. There were pe there were a lot of the four Phantom lists, and there were two two different players brought the uh, the seven quad jumpers. Okay. And, and MC uh, Poele thirteen. Uh, any decent rebel lists out there? I mean, uh, Wedge Luke. And Thane, all with advanced, uh, adva oh, sorry, with proton torpedoes. That's good. We're seeing a bunch of Luke and uh, there, there, Luke there, and Wedge. There are a few, quite a few rebel lists. Kyle flew yesterday on stream. He had he had a uh, Wedge and Luke. Uh, and uh, Luke, so Wedge had um, swarm tactics. Yeah, that was my list, but he made it bad. Sorry, Kyle. He still he still won on the stream though. Oh, did he win yeah, on the stream? Yeah, John had. Uh, I think he went two on. and two and four the rest of the weekend. In any case, there is look winning some... on stream is the most important. But this, the, I, I shouldn't have said anything. Then he we could have pretended Kyle did well. Exactly. Yeah, Kyle uh, did great, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, um, there, I mean, I think most rebel lists though that are good are all based around Luke and Wedge and Or. I think it's like a Luke Or and a Wedge. You need or. Luke. You need I think you gotta have Luke. Uh, we had one player who did well with uh, five Y wings with dorsal turrets. Yes, yes, he did. You, you just uh, you just carousel of death to to victory. Um, Scott Ross is right in there, right? Scott Ross, yeah, did nice. quite well. Um, I, with each player having three lists, it's just so hard to remember who has what. Yeah. And it's still early in the game. I think a lot of the Rebel list builders haven't found that because the Rebel Synergy, while it's there, uh, Rebels are a little bit expensive. So trying to find that synergy to work and make sense is 
hasn't clicked in with most players. I think we're all still starstruck and flabbergasted by these cheap uh, efficiency imperialists. So I think people are kind of like drawn to those and, and not finding all that rebel stuff. I, it's got to be there. I hope it is. So looking at the game here, you can see Christian's continuing to set up blocks and continuing to just draw an extremely wide net, right? Um, trying to, you know, hugely block off big parts of the board yeah. with barrage rocket shots, with just primary shots. Is that not and what you want to do when once you break your swarm? Do you not just want to take up as much board space as possible and, and leave your opponent with nowhere to go? Interesting here that, that Tim is going to choose to bump into Vader and then with his aileron, and then he will um, do his maneuver afterwards. Um, Hard one, chip right? I think part of the reason we're seeing um, these lists do well mm -hmm. is, is a function of how victory is gained, which is taking chips off the board, which right. is getting half points. And if you break... Your points, your if you break your MOV up into small units, mm -hmm. and then and then offense is reduced, right? And so you are effectively points fortressing, or like you are making it difficult for your opponent to garner MOV from you, yes, because you've broken them up into tiny little units where you can get half on on a quad jumper. You give your opponent fifteen or twenty that whopping points. fourteen points you're giving them, and then off it then it takes off, and yeah. you're like rotating ships in and out. And so it's very easy to, in that way, um, I'm just trying to figure out where is which he, which which ship's red line is target locked. Okay, it's four and one. Does he reload this turn uh, and save it for next turn? I think he boosts, boosts and shoots. Boosts and shoots one and five. Would you not? Based on what oh, he's going to he's gonna reload a bomb. Yep. Okay, that's what he yep. said. And that way he can throw a proton bomb next round forward, maybe yeah. tag somebody, and he can do a one forward double so, target lock. Yeah, we're not seeing tie swarms come back. No, right? We're seeing chunk swarms. Yes. Right? Yeah, like beefcake swarms, as they like call them. Some scum beefcakes. You know, like the we're seeing the tie bombers, the punishers. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the mix of Zs and, and quad jumpers, mm -hmm. that have like the five hull, mm -hmm. six hull, and, and evade dice. So those ships are able to sort of ablate a lot of damage, mm -hmm. take a little bit of damage, and then just sort of get out there, right? Um, you know, we're, we're like uh, they like they said, we're, we're going to see a points adjustment coming around yeah. in January. Uh, in November, we're going to see, uh, this is dating this a little bit, I suppose, for a later 2.0, because yeah. there's only three factions here. Currently uh, available, yeah. Currently available, yeah. you know, in... In four weeks, we're gonna have five, and in and in three months, we're gonna have seven. Which so I can't wait. Give me, bring him on. Right, is like hit hit crit from Vader on a bomber. <sighs> Christian's just saying, you know what? My green dice are unstoppable today. I'm just never gonna not evade. I'm always gonna evade. Fuel leak. What are they fighting over? Oh, they've killed. Uh, yeah. Fuel leak. We'll yeah. Them. Yeah. So he got a crit. Even nice. though he rolled the two of eights, he still dies. Yes. Because fuel, fuel leak. He got a crit. It doesn't matter because the crit was what showed up. Yeah. So... When you were dealt the crit or when you were... When you're dealt a crit yeah. with fuel leak, you, you are then dealt another card and yep. that kills him. Yep. So that's step one in Tim winning the game. Yep. Is... Uh, get some ships off the board. Get some ships off the board. And yeah. he's actually technically winning right now. Uh, yep. You know, that puts him back in the lead. Vader's untouched. He could maybe run away for a little bit, regen some force. Uh, he needs to. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's going to get a, a range one shot there from number two. Yeah. Uh, or a barrage rocket at, at uh, range three. Uh, a range... Sorry. Bomber two is going to shoot Vader. Yeah. That's not what's going on now. This is... Uh, this is the Punisher shooting at number five. Yep. For one hit. And Punisher five is going to roll... Watch. Two of eights. Nope. Finally, Christian takes damage. Uh, but, but that Cutlass Squadron is on one hull. So had that now, had that been a, uh, a, instead of reloading, had he target locked and shot a cluster missile. So this is, uh, well, I guess Countdown gets to shoot him mm -hmm. and do nothing. Oh, he did two oh, damage. Oh, no, killed. Oh, he killed. Oh. Yeah, he did two damage with Juke, so he was auto dead. Ah, uh, I wasn't paying attention to the Yep, yep. My, he, uh, my bad, folks. Tim's just pulling the dice out pretty quick. Yeah. Again, and as, we, as you were just saying, right back onto his path to victory, he still has a yeah. fully full health red line. 
Yeah. Putting up full health, sorry. Uh, a fully fully ready to rock and roll red line. Yeah. Who's going to be able to fire ammunition no matter what happens. Yeah. So even if he's going to sacrifice his red line, he's going to exchange it for damage. And unless yeah. he gets a cataclysmically terrible roll, he's yeah. going to do damage on one of Christian's ships, maybe on two. So here we've got a range one shot on on with its primaries. Yeah. So, but it would be the exact same as, as barrage rockets. No, we're not using barrage rockets because it's range one. Unless this is no, on count, it's, it's on countdown. Two on, three, yes. two on to countdown. He's in bullseye. He's in bullseye. Well, he didn't need it. I mean, he's, that's a dead ship. Rolling more dice than your opponent has defense dice is oftentimes good, mm. uh, especially when you get all paint. And that is a dead countdown. Yeah. Direct. Yeah. Direct, direct. hit. Uh, both Tim and I got uh, Alex Davy to sign our direct hits nice. at Coruscant. And I probably said, darn it. Yeah. That he was writing fun, cheeky stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I asked for something uh, a little more vulgar. Yeah. And I got uh, Smurf quotes. I like it. So, so it's still see. neck and neck. We're still tied up in there. I mean, they're uh, going to put damage in for sure. Uh, maybe not into Vader right now, but we'll no. see. This is the time to Ooh, do Ooh, double crits. I mean, Vader's got shields. We just got to see Tim not... Yeah, there you go. Two, Two evades. evades. That's fine. So then the problem is now is now it's obviously a dead red line this round. And now he doesn't have a shot. No, that guy, sorry, next round. Yeah, but red line's going to get to shoot first. Exactly. So does Tim talent roll with Vader or does he just run him away and let him regen some force I think he runs him away and lets him regen force I'd run yeah. but uh, it's gonna be if he if he lets Redline die oh, Oof, come on Christian again. somebody check those dice oh. and he takes the one shield does he not take two no he oh he, he did take two shields yeah. he doesn't have the force so shields off of Vader very dangerous, very dangerous. From a range three. From a range three shot. Those those are deadly now in 2.0. Welcome to 2.0, boys and girls. Yeah. Well, that's what happens if you leave Vader unmodded. Yeah. You know, Any in, ship unmodded, really. He, he was in three arcs. Like yeah. those, that that three die hit. But that's the way this game was designed to be played, though. You, were supposed, to, you were supposed to blow up if you were in multiple arcs. But that three die hit that was barrage rockets on countdown mm -hmm. could have been onto Vader. Fair. But... I guess six of one happens. Yeah, together. you can't you, guarantee the rerolls. You don't know what's going to happen. No, He's I trying know, to I finish know. a ship. Yeah, that's important. Because he lost two ships that round. So yep. having one ship off the board was you know, every round the countdown was alive. Was another round he had to deal with him. You know, it's that juke. It's the potential range one shot. Mm -hmm. Still four attack dice. It's, you know, strikers just almost as good alive as dead. Like yeah. one health or two health, the same difference almost. So now Tim managed to finish off the two winged ones, mm -hmm. right? So everything else is else is still so he has pretty good. To, he has a lot to crunch through. Now, there's no bombs left on Christian's side. Um, I, I th no, because his Punisher is out. You're right. Yeah, yeah. he'd have to so reload, which we, he won't. We could see a reload. Um, I don't know. I think it two forwards and... And, and focus. Mm. He probably one forward focuses. Or are you going to hard two and focus? Okay, what clear stress on a Punisher? Like a one one bank, I think. One forward, one bank only. Probably. I mean, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, My brain's probably. mush at this point. Yeah, probably. My apologies, chat. My brain is mush. But... Uh, certainly two forward, well. two forward as well okay yeah. so the one and two forwards and the one banks only I think he wants the slow roll you're gonna ex I'm, I'm gonna expect a, a boosted barrel roll out of red line to line up that cluster missile shot uh, followed by a target lock so that she gets two cluster missile shots off mm -hmm. uh, two modded cluster missile shots off before she dies is there any position conceivable way for Christian to block red line with that stressed bomber at bomber number one uh, I don't have as he much can, with bombers he as you can do. Is three a forward, which barrel? is green, and barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah. But remember, uh, number two also, or, or red line, uh, also reloaded a proton bomb. Mm-hmm. But so then there he goes. Locked and loaded. There it goes. There it goes. Put it wherever you want, Tim. So what happens when you shotgun a beer on stream. Exactly. So one, two, three, barrel. Hmm. Yeah. What do we got here? The new Dallas messed me up. Serious. Oh, you were right. You got the two straight. See, I figured that that's a little that's a little fast. I thought if uh, those those medium bases move a lot faster, mm -hmm. and uh, it, certainly the focus for the barrage rockets. And if if Redline does a, a larger maneuver, yeah, right, um, on the high, on the fast end, 
right? I feel like he wanted to clear the stress so he could hard two next turn. There's the two bank that, clears. and he can still he can still challenge Vader with that as well. Yeah, that's that's super important. He does I mean, have the target lock. What... He does have the target lock on Vader. Now does he bar- does he barrel roll or does he focus? He focuses and eats the. He proton. focuses and eats the proton because yeah. he's got six hull and he can do that and he yeah. can just eat damage. But too, too far with Cutlass is to have range on Redline, right? Yes. It's yeah. To, it's to threaten with the. Pro- so what Christian's doing is what he always does whenever he plays these kinds of lists. He's trying to threaten all targets at all times. So yeah. he's covered both angles. He's threatening both targets at both times now. So he's gonna p- kill, kill a red line, and he still potentially threatens Vader and keeps Vader honest. My my concern with that. Oh, he's gonna focus. So he only has the one target lock. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna acquire the second target from lock. from the action. Yeah. Off of the focus, which is exactly yeah. how red line would work. And so I, I he's got oh talent roll. Tim's Tim's betting on having arc on both of those. He boys. went for the talent roll. Yeah, he went for aggro. Uh, oh, no, no, never mind. No. Oh, okay. I thought he might have gone for the talent roll. Now Tim has to barrel roll here. You think? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. I'm not sure where that focus came from. Uh, maybe he's. So where did the focus come from? Did he take number one's focus? Christians, yeah. Yeah, like there we go. Uh, yeah, because uh, he can't afford a focus target lock barrage rocket shot from number one mm-hmm. because if that pushes a crit through, um, even if it pushes damage through, oh, he's target locking. Uh, yeah, there he goes. They're spending the force for a barrel roll and a focus to be stressed and in. I'm not sure I agree with that maneuver. Oh, I think he's going for a kill. Do you think he's got arc on four? He definitely does. Yes, oh. he does. He might even have a range one. Bomb explodes. All right. Well, they're moving into the combat phase. Ouch. Spends his blade of plating, keeps his red yeah. line alive. Tim, yeah. Tim, Tim's going for the win. Yeah, I mean, like, he's look. He's 100% going for the win, and he's got arc, I think, at range one. Oh, just in, eh? Just, just a I think he just he cute the little... Yep. Yeah, he's got it. Yep, that was uh, always for all the marbles. Now here comes... Now he needs good dice, though. Uh, You know, that's... uh. He tried spinning. Apparently, it's a good trick. Yeah. Worked four dice into number four. Not trusting the tray. Hit, hit, crit. crit. Are you spending the focus there, Focus bud? for the socks nope. and sandals. Spending no. the target lock. No. No, two hits and a crit. Well, he just picked that up and re-rolled it, though, so that's... Yeah, he that, spent the target. Spent. Oh, fire control system. Fire control system. Duh. Right. 2.0 fire control system. Duh. Right, that's how it works. And now he gets a crit out of that. The two crits and a hit. Right. If he remembers to turn one over. Uh, and uh, there's Christian being a gentleman, reminding him that it's actually two crits. And that's what we mean when we say we fly casual. Yeah. You're giving well, you your... want the best game possible, exactly. right? Exactly. You're letting your opponent know that he forgot one of his advantages. Again, Christian saying, guys, my Just... green dice. So he takes a shield and a crit. Let's see what the crit is. Hull Line. breach. Hull breach. Uh, I hear that's good on a chunky ship. Mm-hmm. So everything's going to be face up. And have we shouted out a blazoned yet for the beautiful art that you're using there, uh, I Travis? Have, but it's good to do it again. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Oblazen. I got to meet him for the first time at uh, Coruscant oh, last nice. month. And he's a nice guy from Ohio. None of those Ohio boys ever make it up to us. But, uh, Oof, nice. so natties. Oh, no, I missed who that was on, but that's that really was too nice. Bomber. That's a bomber. Yeah. Number one takes two. Yeah. Well, he's on half hull. That's all right. So he spent his first round of his cluster missile. Now he's spending additional charge for his second cluster missile. Yeah, on number like four. Punisher. He's not going to be able to kill it, but he can probably uh, get it. I mean, he could just roll three hits and just do a ton of damage. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, So uh, Christian here going to be rolling one dice. And there you go. Takes two. I get another evade on that damn. But they're both at fuel leak. Yeah. Oh, my God. Which means another. How many, how many fuel leaks are in the goddamn game? In Ugh. the deck. Ugh. I think he would have taken the first one as face down, then the next one's face up. I think they're doing that in the wrong order. Ugh. Well, they have a judge. They have a judge there. The judge is going to come clear it up. Now they've got four damage cards in the. Uh, just air so, all the dirty laundry. So cluster missiles are at range 1 to 2, the initial attack. And then once you've fired your first round of cluster missiles, you can spend an additional charge to attack an additional ship at range 1 of the ship that you attacked. Yes. So that's kind of technically how they all work. Yes. Though they might be 2 to, thir- they might be two to 3. What? 
He took four crits. Yeah. Ow. Because it was one was a direct hit. Ow. And the oh, space. You said ow. I thought you said how. Ow. No. Ow. <laughs> ow. 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 Fuel leak and direct hit into ow. Um. And this is why you never give up. Guess who's right back on top of this game? Chat coming through with a definition of uh, cluster missiles. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, right. Thanks. Thanks. Keep me honest there, chat. You are correct. So he would still have to have been in range three, which uh, he still was. So No, uh, cluster missiles is one to two. Barrage rockets, three. It's a dead red line. So then could, would you do not have to be in range one? To, no, but uh, clusters are two to three. Otherwise, you'd never be able to make that hit. Can you put cluster missiles up on the board? Can you put cluster missiles up? Let's have a look. The only, yeah, the only requirement is zero to one from the defender, so I'm fine with the way Aaron has ruled that. So cluster Yeah, missiles. one to two. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't say anything about a range restriction, so I believe that was all the way it should be. Oh, did he just kill Vader? Uh, I just half damage. I think he just did damage to Vader. Yeah, he just got half damage. So he got half Vader. damage on Vader and then tips the king. Okay. He knocked over the wrong ship with maximum okay. disrespect. Using those weighted bases are impossible to tip over. That's the whole reason why I like using uh, them. Tim is uh, known to... Uh, tip the king? Tip the king. When yeah, he when, he, when he, he comes when, comes from the world of chess. and uh, If he feels like he's he, already lost the match, he's not going to learn anything else from it. He, he, and There's no situation or wing condition left for him. I mean, you know, when he... It's not like he needs MOV. It's not like he's going to play at a time. There's four minutes left, and Christian still has a bomber and, and thing, and Vader's yeah. at half. Yeah. I mean, that was still... Who knows? Who knows? 